Hi, and welcome to Teach Children to Save Day. I'm the great Investo, the world's greatest money magician. And I'm going to read my latest adventure, The Great Investo and the Astounding, Abounding, Compounding Machine. It's important to save your money, because when you save your money, you'll have it later on. Maybe for something you want, or for something that you need. You can save your money any place. In a jar, in a drawer, or in a piggy bank. But the best place to save your money is in a bank, because your money is guaranteed to stay safe in a bank. Banks are also a good place to save your money, because banks pay you interest. Interest is the money that the bank pays you when you keep your money in their bank. But even better than interest is something really magical called compound interest. In our story, I build the astounding, abounding, compounding machine. Now, those words might seem a little strange, but they're really simple. Astounding means that something is amazing. Abounding just means that you have a lot of something. And compounding? Well, we're going to learn all about that in our story. The Great Investo and the Astounding Abounding Compounding Machine In a faraway place where the fir trees are furzy, a mile beyond nowhere to the left of New Jersey, there's the mystical home of the wizard Investo, a good money magician, but not quite the besto. With Penny his helper, he casts money spells. He tries very hard, just not very well. Here's a question, said Penny, I'm sure you will know. Kids want to find out how to make money grow. That's easy, he boasted, and I just want to say, I can make money grow in the most simple way. I've created a gadget to make all things increase, from the biggest of big to the least of the least. Making things multiply is really no trouble. I put anything in, and then it will double. But it doesn't stop there. My machine keeps on going, so that two becomes four, and it just keeps on growing. It's the most marvelous device that's ever been seen. My astounding, abounding, compounding machine. Investo, said Penny, you don't need magical tools. You just have to follow a few simple rules. The first rule is important, so try not to bend it. If you want to have cash, then save it. Don't spend it. Save your money. Keep it safe. Don't waste it on junk. And your wealth will soon grow, bit by bit, hunk by hunk. Your way is too slow said Investor the Great. I can make things increase at a much faster rate. Let me show you right now with a part of my lunch. I'll use this banana. Just one, not a bunch. With this one banana, do you know what I'll do? With my magic machine, I'll make one into two. Two bananas aren't much. I know I'll want more. So the machine will keep going, and the two become four. And just as he promised, the machine kept on going. The pile of bananas kept on growing and growing. The four became eight, and then grew to sixteen. Bananas kept churning from Investo's machine. Investo, cried Penny, you should not have begun. Turn off this contraption or we'll be overrun. Don't worry, he said. I can make it all right. We just need some monkeys with big appetites. With a magical flourish, he reached into his cape, and out of the pocket, 
he pulled a small ape. He chucked the one monkey into the machine. Soon there were two, four, eight, then sixteen. The machine kept compounding, making chimps by the dozens, till the whole place was filled with scores of chimp cousins. There were hundreds of apes, right up to the ceiling. They attacked those bananas and quickly were peeling. See, said Investo, there was nothing to fear. Those monkeys will make all that fruit disappear. Compounding is magic, Penny agreed. But this crazy machine is nothing you need. Remember I mentioned the rules you can do? Now listen and hear saving rule number two. Deposit your money in a savings account, and soon it will grow to a greater amount. Your money earns interest, and what's more outstanding, the interest earns interest and keeps on expanding. But now Investo found he had troubles anew. The monkeys were bored. They had nothing to do. So into the machine he inserted a ball, and soon there were more than enough for them all. In fact, there were too many balls bouncing around, so next Investo threw in a clown. Where he got the clown, don't ask, I don't know. But like everything else, their numbers did grow. Then the clowns had a meeting, and they all agreed. We belong in a circus! That's just what we need! So Investo fed the machine all manner of things, like balloons and giraffes and masters of rings, lions and acrobats and trapeze artists too. He threw all of these things in his great circus stew. And when his compounding machine was all through, the circuses numbered 10,002. Infesto, cried Penny, please take my advice. Use my smart saving rules, not this silly device. First, save your money and put it away in your neighborhood bank where interest they pay. Then just sit back and watch while your money grows bigger, as compounding makes it a much bigger figure. Then you will see what compounding can do when you let the interest earn interest for you. But look what you've done with your crazy machine. You've made a big mess. So now make it all clean. Investo replied, my machine is astounding. To fix it we need some backward compounding. It's not very hard to make better from worse. I'll just use this lever and put the machine in reverse. Investo grabbed the controls and then pulled the switch and his crazy machine started to twitch. It sucked up a banana, then a chimp, then a clown. It vacuumed up everything that was around. Back in the machine they went one by one until the backward compounding job was all done. Everything that came out was now uncompounded, leaving just one of each, as first it was founded. Hooray, said Investo. Now that it's all done, we're left with one circus, so let's have some fun. I'm sorry, said Penny, but there won't be a show. They took my advice to make their money grow. The clown, the ringmaster, the acrobat too, and even the monkey now know what to do. They've all gone to open up savings accounts so they can grow money in amazing amounts. I've learned my lesson, said Investor the Great. I don't need a machine and I don't have to wait. I know now that saving is the smart thing to do. I'll start saving today.
Now how about you? It's nice when a bank pays you interest, but when your interest earns interest, that's where the real money magic happens. Let's say that this bottle is your money, and this tube is your bank. If you just put the money in the bank, you know it's there. But what happens when the bank starts paying you interest, and then that interest earns interest? and so on, and so on, and so on. That's the magic of compounding. Here's another way to see the magic of compounding. The other day, Penny and the chimp were visiting, and Penny challenged us to a race. Not just any race, but a savings race. Penny offered both of us some money, but she gave us a choice. The first choice was to receive $500 right then, or the second choice was to receive just $5. But if we saved it, Penny would double it every week for eight weeks. $500 or $5? Which would you choose? Well, I chose the $500 and the chimp chose the five dollars and the race began here we are folks for the great big savings race between investo and the chimp and it's an eight week race let's see what happens and they're off and in week one investo starts out strong saving five hundred dollars the chimp saves five dollars but penny matches it for a total of ten dollars here they go on to the second week. In the second week we have Investo and he's saving his $500, the same $500. And the chimp now, he's got $10. He didn't spend anything. What's he going to do with that $10? He's going to save it and it's matched by Penny for a total of $20. And they move on to week three of the great savings race. And Investo, he still got his $500 under his hat or it might be under his mattress. The chimp's got $20. Penny matches the $20 for a total of $40. We're moving on to week four, halfway, halfway through the great savings race. Investo, he's got $500. The chimp's got $40, Penny matches the $40, so it brings him up to $80. He's halfway, but he's still a ways behind. Moving into week five, as we come around the far stretch, we've got Investo with $500. The chimp's got $80, and he gets a match from Penny to bring it up to $160. Week number six starts out with Investo. No surprise there, $500. The chimp didn't spend anything, so he has $160 saved. Penny matches it, and he's up to $320, but he's still behind. Will he be able to catch up? Week 7, guess what? Investo, he's got $500. The chimp's got $320. Penny matches it. And he's in the lead now. He's got $640 as they come down to the final stretch. Week 8, Investo, he still has his $500, but the chimp's got $640. Penny matches the $640 for a total of $1,280. What an upset. Investo is beaten by the chimp. The chimp is the champ of the great savings race. So, who won the savings race? You're right, the chimp was champ. He won because he used the power of compound interest. Now, a bank won't double your money, and they don't pay interest every week, but they will pay a percentage of interest every month. And just like the chimp, the longer you save, the more your money will grow, and you'll be a savings champ. Thanks for being here for Teach Children to Save Day. You can download fun games and activities on the Teach Children to Save Day page at debankers.com or on the Great Investo page at dfea.org.
You can also find us on Facebook or on YouTube. Hope you had fun, and remember, saving is magical.